Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Irtza Hussain Khan and in this presentation I will talk you about the cell. As you know about that cell the fundamental unit of life. First of all I will talk with you about the table of contents of about cell. In which number one is cell, two cell theory, unicellular organism, multicellular organism, animal cell, plant cell, bacterial cell, nucleus, plasma membrane, cytoplasm, endoplasmic reticulum, chloroplast, and at the last prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. All these we I all these are that we I will discuss with you in this presentation. First of all the point is that what is cell? Cell is a basic structural and functional unit of living organisms. In other words, cell make up living things and carry out activities that keep a living thing alive. Meaning simple words, we can say that cell is a basic unit of life on which all the life depends upon. All living organisms are made up of cell. Cell theory. Cell theory is a collection of ideas and conclusions from many different scientists over time that describe the cell and how cell operate. Number one is all known living things are made up of one or more cells. Number two is that all living cells arise from pre-existing cells by division. Number three, the cell is the basic unit of structure and function in all living organisms. As we know that we have read it in class first year biology, it is the three points of cell theory. Unicellular organisms, in simple words, we can say that the organisms that are made up of one cell is called unicellular organisms. For example, Eugolina, Paramecium, Yeast. And multicellular organisms are those that, that is made up of one or more cell is called multicellular organisms. For example, plants, animals, fungus. And in this slide you can see the multicellular organisms under microscope in which firstly leaf cells and secondly muscle cells you can see in this slide. Animal cells, you can see in this slide that nucleus, Golgi body vesicles, plasma membrane, mitochondria, cytoskeleton, centriole, lysosome, cytoplasm, rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, nucleolus. All these are the animal cells that are found in animals. And then plant cells in which all these nucleus, Golgi body vesicles, lysosome, plasma membrane, mitochondria, chloroplast, cell wall, vacuole, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum, nucleolus. Bacterial cells in which capsule, cell wall, plasma membrane, cytoplasm, flagellum, food granule, plasmid, DNA, ribosome, nucleolide, and pili. All these are found in bacterial cells. Basically, these are all these all living organisms are made up of cell. Nucleus. Nucleus is a dense spherical body located near the center of cell. Basically, all the body functions are depend on nucleus. Nucleus is located in the center of cell. Its diameter is varies from ten to twenty five micrometer. Present in all the cells except red blood cells and sieve tube cells. Nucleus is well developed in plant and animal cells, but it is undeveloped or absent mean in bacteria and blue green algae. Most of the cells are uninucleated, mean having one or having one nucleus, but some are dinucleated, mean one or more nucleus. Plasma membrane, as we know about that, that plasma membrane or cell membrane. Plasma membrane is made up of lipid and protein. 60 to 80 percent 
protein and 20 to 40 percent in this lipid and plasma membrane is extremely delicate thin elastic living and semi permeable membrane plasma membrane is made up of two layers of lipid molecules in which protein molecules are floating thickness varies from 75 to 110 astron and can be observed under an electron microscope only it is cannot seen under compound microscope and function its main function is maintain the shape and size of the cell it protects the internal contents of the cell it regulates the entry and exit of substances in and out of the cell maintains homeostasis in plasma membrane we have read in class first year two models are exist first model name is neuron membrane and second is fluid mosaic model cytoplasm gel like material formed by 80% of water present between the plasma membrane and nucleus it contains the clear liquid portion called cytosol and various particles cytoplasm it is the particles are protein carbohydrates nucleus nucleic acid lipids and inorganic ions also contain many organelles with distinct structure and function granular and dense in animal cells and thin in plant cells cell wall as we know that cell wall is the outermost layer in any living organism non living and outermost covering of cell in plants and bacteria can be tough rigid and sometimes flexible it is made up of cellulose hemicellulose and pectin it may be thin or thick multi layered structure thickness varies from 50 to 1000 angstrom its function provides definite shape strength and rigidity number 2 it prevents from drying of cells number 3 it helps in controlling cell expansion number 4 protects the cell from external pathogens endoplasmic reticulum it has two types smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum as we know that rough endoplasmic reticulum is that in which ribosomes are attached but smooth endoplasmic reticulum are those which cannot attach with the ribosome endoplasmic reticulum is a network of tubular and vesicular structures which are interconnected with one another some parts are connected to the nuclear membrane while other are connecting to the cell membrane its function you can see in this slide mean give internal support to the cytoplasm rough endoplasmic reticulum is also known as protein synthesis smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes lipid for cell membrane in liver cells smooth endoplasmic reticulum detoxify the drugs and poisons in muscle cells smooth endoplasmic reticulum store calcium ion golgi body or golgi apparatus it discovered by camilla golgi it is formed by stacks of 5 to 8 membrane numerous membranous sacs sac are usually flattened or and are called the cisternae has two ends face cisternae near the endoplasmic reticulum and trans face situated near the cell membrane its functions modifies sorts and packs material synthesized in the cell it delivers synthesized material to the various targets inside the cell and outside the cell it produces vacuoles and secretory vesicles it forms plasma membrane and lysosomes as you can see golgi body at work in this slide lysosomes small spherical single membrane sac found through the cytoplasm it is filled with the hydrolytic enzyme 
ਆਈਡੋਲਿਟਿਕ ਇਨਜ਼ਾਈਮ ਆ ਦੋ ਇਨਜ਼ਾਈਮ ਡੈਟ ਆ ਸੈਂਸਾਈਡ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸਕੈਂਡਰੀ ਸਕੈਂਡਰੀ ਲਾਈਸੋਸੋਮ ਐਂਡ ਆ ਐਕਸਪੋਜ਼ਡ ਫਰਮ ਬਾਇ ਗੋਲਜੀ ਆਪਰੇਟਰਸ ਇਨਟੂ ਸਾਈਟੋਪਲਾਜ਼ਮ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਇਨ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਵਰਡ ਇਟ ਅਕਰ ਇਨ ਮੋਸਟ ਐਨੀਮਲ ਸੈਲਸ ਐਂਡ ਫਿਊ ਇਨ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਆਫ ਪਲਾਂਟ ਸੈਲਸ ਇਟਸ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਦੇ ਹੈਲਪ ਇਨ ਡਾਈਜੈਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਲਾਰਜ ਮੋਲਿਕਿਊਲਸ ਲਾਈਸੋਮ ਇਨ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਵਰਡ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਲਾਈਸੋਮ ਇਨ ਸਪਲਿਟਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਸੋਮਾ ਮੀਨ ਬੋਡੀ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਸੋ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਆ ਆਟੋਫਾਗੀ ਮੀਨ ਸੈਲਫ ਡਾਈਜੈਸ਼ਨ ਸਮ ਓਲਡ ਪਾਰਟਸ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਵਾਰਮ ਇਟ ਡਾਈਜੈਸਟ ਐਂਡ ਮੇਡ ਅ ਨਿਊ ਪਾਰਟਸ ਇਨ ਦੈਟ ਸੈਲ ਪਰਫਾਰਮ ਦਾ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਆਟੋਲਾਈਸਿਸ ਵੈਕਿਊਲਸ ਵੈਕਿਊਲਸ ਆਰ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਮੈਂਬਰੇਨ ਸੈਕ ਫਿਲਡ ਵਿਦ ਲਿਕੁਇਡ ਆਰ ਸੈਪ ਇਨ ਐਨੀਮਲ ਸੈਲ ਵੈਕਿਊਲਸ ਆਰ ਟੈਂਪੋਰੇਰੀ ਸਮਾਲ ਇਨ ਸਾਈਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਫਿਊ ਇਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਬਟ ਇਨ ਪਲਾਂਟ ਸੈਲ ਵੈਕਿਊਲਸ ਆਰ ਲਾਰਜ ਐਂਡ ਮੋਰ ਇਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਇਟ ਮੇ ਬੀ ਦਾ ਕੰਟਰੈਕਟਾਈਲ ਆਰ ਨਾਨ ਕੰਟਰੈਕਟਾਈਲ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਸਟੋਰ ਵੇਰੀਅਸ ਸਬਸਟੈਂਸਸ ਇਨਕਲੂਡਿੰਗ ਵੇਸਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਟਸ ਮੇਨਟੇਨ ਓਸਮੋਟਿਕ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਰ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਸੈਲ ਇਟ ਸਟੋਰ ਦਾ ਫੂਡ ਪਾਰਟਿਕਲ ਇਨ ਅਮੀਬਾ ਸੈਲ ਇਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡਸ ਟਰਜਿਡਿਟੀ ਐਂਡ ਰਿਜਿਡਿਟੀ ਟੂ ਪਲਾਂਟ ਸੈਲ ਮਾਈਟੋਕੌਂਡਰੀਆ ਸਮਾਲ ਰੋਡ ਸ਼ੇਪ ਆਰਗਨਲੀ ਬਾਉਂਡਡ ਬਾਈ ਟੂ ਮੈਂਬਰੇਨਸ ਇਨਰ ਐਂਡ ਆਊਟਰ ਆਊਟਰ ਇਜ਼ ਸਮੂਥ ਬਟ ਇਨਰ ਇਜ਼ ਰਫ ਮਾਈਟੋਕੌਂਡਰੀਆ ਦਾ ਆਸਨ ਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਦਾ ਪਾਵਰ ਹਾਊਸ ਆਫ ਸੈਲ ਇਟਸ ਮੇਨ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਇਟ ਸੈਂਥਸਾਈਜ਼ ਦਾ ਐਨਰਜੀ ਰਿਚ ਕੰਪਾਊਂਡ ਏਟੀਪੀ ਏਟੀਪੀ ਮੋਲੀਕਿਊਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡ ਐਨਰਜੀ ਫਾਰ ਦਾ ਵਾਈਟਲ ਐਕਟੀਵਿਟੀਜ਼ ਆਫ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਸੈਲਸ ਪਲਾਸਟਿਡ ਪਲਾਸਟਿਡ ਆਰ ਦਾ ਡਬਲ ਮੈਂਬਰੇਨ ਬਾਉਂਡ ਆਰਗਨਲੀ ਫਾਊਂਡ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਪਲਾਂਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਮ ਐਲਗੀ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਸਿਬਲ ਫਾਰ ਦਾ ਐਕਟੀਵਿਟੀਜ਼ ਰਿਲੇਟਿਡ ਟੂ ਮੇਕਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਸਟੋਰਿੰਗ ਫੂਡ ਦੇ ਓਪਨ ਕੰਟੇਨ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਆਫ ਪਿਗਮੈਂਟਸ ਦੈਟ ਕੈਨ ਚੇਂਜ ਦਾ ਕਲਰ ਆਫ ਸੈਲ ਕਲੋਰੋਪਲਾਸਟ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਡਬਲ ਮੈਂਬਰੇਨ ਬਾਉਂਡ ਆਰਗਨਲੀ found mainly in plant cells it is absent in animal cells so it is usually spherical or discoidal in shape shows two distinct regions grana and stroma its main function is convert the light energy into chemical energy in the form of food provide green color to leaves stems and vegetables its types are leucoplast chromoplast chromoplast as you can see is they are plastids that produce and store pigments they are responsible for different colors found in leaves fruits flowers and vegetables prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell as you can see the differentiate between in this slide prokaryotic cell in nucleus is in prokaryotic cell nucleus is undeveloped but in eukaryotic cell nucleus is well developed only one chromosome is present in prokaryotic cell but more than one chromosome are present in eukaryotic cell membrane bound organelles are absent in prokaryotes but in reverse membrane organelles are present in prokaryotic size ranges from 0.5 to 5 micrometers but in eukaryotic 5 to 100 micrometer examples are bacteria and blue green algae in prokaryotic but in eukaryotic all other organisms at the end thank you to thank you for watching this video